first impression of Jordan's script was that it did such an incredible job of keeping the suspense and actually it was quite frightening to go through. Uh, I remember really immediately investing in the family dynamic and relating to it because he writes a very uh, relatable all-American family and everything seems normal but you can tell from the details like uh, the, the, the imagery, the metaphor that danger looms and I was really impressed by that. When I first read the script, what stood out to me most, which is the same thing that stood out to me uh, about Get Out, was how um, incredible the writing and how powerful and how original it was. I mean, it was deeply, deeply unsettling. Um, and uh, and it felt that very similar to reading Get Out. I felt like I'd never read anything like it before. There was no comp. There was no, no movie to compare it to. And that was the same thing on Get Out. It was just extraordinarily original. The idea uh, for this movie came from a, a deep-seated fear in doppelgangers. Um, and I, I love the doppelganger mythologies and, and different movies that have dealt with them. And I, I, I just desperately wanted to make uh, my offering to uh, that sort of pantheon of, of, of evil double films. Um, I think what really made it come together for me, that, that brought this idea together for me, was this idea that we are our own worst enemy, which uh, is something I feel uh, like we know intrinsically, but it, it is a truth that we tend to bury we tend to blame the outsider and blame the other. Um, when in, in this movie, uh, the monster has our faces. So oftentimes we feel that the monster is from outside of ourselves. You know, it's, they're from um, outside our borders and, you know, outside our homes. But in this story, the monster is really within um, our very selves, and it's about embracing that, you know, or at least recognizing it. The tone of us is frightening. It's 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 a it's a it's a horror movie. It's a thriller. You're on the edge of your seat. You're very worried about what's going to come next. It's incredibly suspenseful, and um, it makes you feel also very very uneasy um, as a viewer in the audience. Horror has always been the the way that I personally deal with my own fears. Um, I love the genre for that reason, and I love the horror aesthetic um, for that reason. I, I think great horror is um, um, often grounded, which is um, you know the way I love to uh, do comedy as well, is to um, allow something crazy, crazy to be going on, but as best as possible, you try to marry it re with reality, and um, yeah, I don't, I don't see myself uh, moving far from horror anytime soon.